Hi, good morning, everyone. This is another episode of problem solving practice for FRCS trauma and OS exam adult pathology section. My name is Walid Tawfiq. Just a reminder how to get the maximum benefit from this video. At least two candidates should be practicing to give a feedback to each other. See the image or listen to the scenario. Pause the video after each question. Answer the question loudly. Try to start broad. Use the algorithm used in the previous videos. The next question will provide you with them some more information to direct you to the diagnosis and treatment for this specific case. The feedback should be written to simulate the exam feedback as much as possible. Let's go. Case one, 77 years old man, previously fit independent, presenting with worsening low back pain and reduced mobility. Describe what you see. What is your differential diagnosis? What are important points in history? How to examine this patient? What are the further for work up? Tell me more about my Loma screen. Suppose my Loma screen had diagnosed and with multiple myeloma. Patient had weakness three out of five in post lower limbs. What is the initial and definitive treatment? What are the parameters for decision making and what options are available? Treatment received. Patient received radio and chemotherapy. Symptoms improved and abnormal neurology resolved. Case two. 77 men referred to orthopedic clinic with left groin and thigh pain. Describe what you see. What is your differential diagnosis? How to assist this patient clinically? How to assist this patient risk for fracture in his left femur? What are the guidelines you will follow in treating this patient? He is known to have a, a multiple myeloma. What are the treatment options? Case three. 66 years old man, presented with right hip pain. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? This patient had history of lung cancer. What's further imaging you need to obtain? He has a known brain and subcutaneous metastasis. How will that change your management? From history, he has functional pain what is the guidelines for managing this patient and what are the treatment options? Treatment received. Fixation. Case four. 66 has a bilateral hip resurfacing eight years ago. Came from routine check. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? If this patient had a hip pain, what are the differential diagnosis? What are further investigations you need to? If you aspirate the hip, what lab test you will ask for? What are the guidelines you follow for managing this patient? And if we choose revision surgery, what are the basic principles? 
Case 5. 81 years old left total hip replacement in German 2007. Now struggle with weight bearing. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to the examine this patient? What are further investigations you will need? What are you looking for? What are the treatment options? Suppose the patient choose to go for operative treatment, infection excluded. What are the challenges and the operative treatment, pre-operative planning? That is the treatment received. She had a revision for post stem and cup with antiproteusio cup. Case six. 27 years old man, football injury. You see him in the emergency department. Describe what you see. What are the important points in history you need to know? How to examine this patient? What further investigation you will need? And what are you looking for? His MRI scan came back with partial injury for the MCL, ACL complete tear. What's your plan? Suppose the patient had a bucket handle tear of the medial meniscus with a locked knee. How is that going to change your treatment? What are the principles of ACL reconstruction surgery? That is the treatment received. MCL managed conservatively in a hinged brace. ACL trial of non-operative treatment for ACL directed physiotherapy. Then failure of this treatment led to reconstruction. If the patient had a medial meniscal pocket handle tear with a locked knee, this is a semi-urgent operation. He will need a tear repair, then we have the knee, and then the decision to be made for reconstruction of the ACL later.